evening, Draftaholics, and welcome to Draft Punks, the most Olympic draft channel on the internet. My name is Sam, and I'm joined this week and every week by Adrian Walker. How are we doing, Adrian? Al Bez, Al Bez, hoot, hoot, raw. Al Bez, Al Bez, hoot, hoot, raw. They're competing, aren't they, in the Olympics? They are, right? I believe so. Isn't isn't to, isn't today the 100 meter Al Bear relay? I hope so. Man, they're going to draw so many cards. Four Albers, <laughs> wow. They're going to trample over the competition. Trample over the competition. Uh, their opponents will be green with envy. I'm loving it. And the, the final score will be? 4-4. Uh, 4-4. Four, four. Four, four, four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can see Adrian and I clearly know a lot about the Olympics and all of the sports ball activities that go on big fans Alrighty, what have we got Ooh. a vorpal sword interesting 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 i mean plus two plus oh on death touch on a one mana two to equip equipment not bad that's pretty good right yeah i i mainly want to play this just so we can get the clip of us activating it and get the, the get the eight mana win the game yeah we've got to get like, that's that's all I want to achieve. I'm going to take this card, and all I want to achieve with this video is to kill someone with the Vorpal Sword. Hell yes, let's do it. I, I am behind I'm, this all the way. Let's go mono black too. So let's let's throw it all into into the abyss. Uh, Adrian and I were uh, drafting with... <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> mono black! <laughs> uh, I don't think so, but I'm happy to take a, a Sailor of Memes. Yeah. Uh, a, is, uh, a mole port scurchant. And I'll be very happy if we can end up in red, black, steel, and sack, which this is a great a great piece in. Fantastic piece. So or, let's, or you uh, can catch these hands. So it's, the, no, it's definitely the merchant. Ooh, well, catch some more hands if you want. Set them on fire this time. Yeah. Could consider a horde robber, but I think I think I'd really like burning hands. Yeah, the hands the hands are good. Um, and, all right, and now black. we just take every every price of loyalty that we see. Oh, I've been I've been looking forward to doing this deck on, uh, oh, on camera. Hello, hey, hello. Ooh, ooh, and a blue dragon. Oh man, hello, beautiful. So uh, I, I'm I coming up on blue as... dragon as the best dragon and uh, uncommon dragon in the set. Its biggest problem is that it's blue. That is a that is a problem, but it is. And such a crazy crazy blowout when it hits the battlefield so i know you're you're not quite as plugged into limited social media as i am but have you have you heard the word about how bad blue is in this format is it just terror is like you you if you pick a blue card in your draft you you lose it's something like that yeah wow the all of the limited podcasts this week put out episodes about how bad blue is and how you should just never be in that color jeez um, like the only reason to be drafting blue is if you open imrith and i like i saw a screenshot of someone like with a pack eight imrith because people oh. were avoiding blue that hard yeah that's um that's 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 definitely something i don't so, even know what to say about that i guess we do we take one of these these kind of suck i wonder if we just take a steadfast paladin yeah, I mean, like, you'll probably find another, um, oh, I can actually get behind spoils. Yeah. That may have been pick of the week. I'm just not, I'm not, oh, I'm not that price, into price of, of loyalty, there is another Hello. one. Hello. All right, things are going well. Things are going well. Black has seemed to have dried up a little to the right, but maybe that's just the packs. It's a little unfortunate. Yeah, it kind of does look that way, doesn't it? Um, hey look blue cards yeah so we won't be taking any of these because this one this is one of the better blue cards but i'm still not going to take it yeah uh, like every time i see it i'm like oh look at that i'm gonna i'm gonna hit them with it and then i'm gonna draw some cards and i'm gonna have a great time i guess we I guess we grab a moon druid these prices are a little bit awkward because they're kind of black red gold cards they're not yeah. so great if we end up in green angler merkel Angela Merkel, but we'll we'll get the German Chancellor in here once again. Excellent. Which is an arcane sort of joke for those who aren't sort of like paying attention and watching the previous episode. I mean, yeah, if you if you're not watching every episode, I don't know what you're doing. You're you're not going to get half the jokes every week. 
Yeah, and you, you probably would have seen the thumbnail for last week and gone, why is Angela Merkel <laughs> Chancellor of Germany in the thumbnail? Now you know. Um, so, I, I too like Evolving Wilds here. Evolving Wilds here. Yeah, we could we could potentially splash half the half the price of loyalty combos if we need to. <laughs> half the price, fifty percent off. Fifty percent off. Hey. And if you pay by credit card, uh, I mean, this is okay if we end up in Black Red Treasure. Though it's not looking particularly open. <laughs> it's what people say. Like, what's the what's the best card in Magic? It's the credit card. That is true. The, uh, the gateway to every other card is the credit card. I mean, black, black, black seems to have been taken off the menu real quick. Yeah, yeah, black not looking too good. We'll see what we can get in pack two though. Oh, there's Harold. Uh, there's Harold. Don't, don't mind a Harold. Don't mind a Harold. I remember at the start of the set we were like, this card is gar garbage until. We realize that the number three is a liability in the set, and this has a four on it, which makes it good. That, that's it, yeah. Just a four, four for five is is enough. Oh no, blue cards. blue cards. You took a blue card, Sam. Can I can I burn it? Can I get it out of my sideboard <laughs> somehow? You drafting a paper you pick... and you just throw it across the room. Like, I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, pack two. Oh, we got Nada. It's also Valor Singer and Ray. I think I like Ray. Yeah, me too. Otherwise, there's Nadar not is... a whole lot for us here. Nadar is very strong, yeah. but we're kind of a far away from White. I mean, White did seem pretty open last pack, so I could definitely see see taking this. But I'm gonna try really hard to be to be black with the, the double price of loyalty and the Skullport Merchant. Red, black, okay. seal and sack. Yep. Did I say seal and sack? Maybe. Is that where you like seal them inside Ooh, the moon? Ooh, wow. Wow. <laughs> this pack is complicated. Powered kill merchant <sighs> and dragon's fire? Come on. What a pack. I... I think I'm gonna take yeah. the merchant. Yeah, see that's that's where I was gonna come at you as well, because it's redundancy for the combo. Exactly. And it's just really powerful. If you can just have this sitting around sacking your treasures all game, you will you will win you'll win most grindy games. Yeah. Uh, although power word kill and dragon's fire are a really good removal. There is no way that Sam from a couple of even a couple of months ago would have made this pick. Yeah, I, I I used to just be all about removal of remo removal only, but I, I think we're now at the point where we we recognise there are more important things. Oh, and a dragon's fire hey. anyway. Oh, we'll take it. We will absolutely yeah. take it. Hell yeah! Which kind of nope. tells me that red must be sort of open to our left. Um, well, what okay. do you think about the dispute or the Valor Singer? So I was looking. At, I was looking at dispute versus barbarian because this can make a treasure for us to sack to our skullport uh, merchant. That's a good point. Uh, but this also makes a treasure. Yes. So I think I think I'll go with the dispute. It also sacks their stuff. Yeah, exactly. So this is our third piece of sack outlet, and we've got two prices. So I think uh, I think I like the deadly dispute. Okay. Well, we... possible plundering barbarian wheels. That's not not out of the question. Ooh, wouldn't mind fireball. Yeah, yeah, not high on. I like this in the white red aggro decks, or the uh, red, yeah. green aggro decks, but not not so much for black red. Um, Rust monster is not that good. I've I've tried it in these decks. It's it's not very good. Yeah, yeah. it's it's an awkward one. Manticore has an interesting use, which is it goes really nicely with uh, horde robber. Because your opponent will always block, oh, the so you attack you it into their two threes. Drop and they the Manticore on it. Yeah, them. yeah. I like that. Uh, okay, swarming goblins. Like this can make some make some fodder that we can sacrifice to. Oh uh, yeah, of course. That's um, that's that's a good point. We we like some fodder. Uh, yeah. I mean, feign death. Guess it's fine, Death. Yeah. 
I'm not not above playing a fang death. No. I think we'll get the green cards out of here. Okay. Uh, this is not amazing. I mean, uh, anyway, right, we might be picking the brazen dwarf or the kick in the door. Yeah. We're probably not going to play either. Unless yeah, things go terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, okay, well this, uh, this a, enables... Take, a, take another Evolving Wilds. This enables some some splashing if we want to do that. We don't have much in the way of treasure making, right? We've got the two Skullport merchants. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's quite the pack for green. Jeez, yeah. Herd Gorger, Null Hunter, Ball Strength, damn. Yeah, I guess we'll take a Herd Gorger. Okay. Yeah, there is the distinct possibility that we end up green, but, um... Ooh! Another one! I guess I'll take a two drop. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and stick this course, because I think the shell we've got is quite powerful. Yeah, I agree. We think we have to fight for it a little bit. Another herd gorger. Here it comes. Oh, not quite. Yep, we'll ship some blue cards. Yeah, <laughs> Shipping blue cards. Shipping, shipping blue cards. Um, blipping shoe cards. What are we getting? And the answer is nothing. Oh, no, it's a pulpit bill. Oh, yep. Yep, that is a sack outlet. And it is fresh. Nice. Uh, yeah, with the, with the double Evolving Wilds on the couple of treasure makers that we've got, we're now in a position where we could splash most bombs that we open. So hopefully we get past um, something, something tasty. That's, uh, something pretty nice. Something but that's now our fourth sack outlet with two delicious two prices. Yeah. Well, there's another ghoul. Uh, I've also got Bugbear. Yeah. Oh, there's a Tools as well. Tools is good. We Makes can give treasures. This, we can give this menace and unblockable. Ah, oh, that's that's so relevant. Now they couldn't that's even value. block it with two creatures if they wanted to. Exactly. They uh, could. I think I'm just gonna grab another sepulchre ghoul. Yeah. And then hope to wheel. Hope to wheel the thieves tools. That is true. Um, and then they do often wheel. Possible. Possible. We play unexpected windfall. As oh well. wow! The book. Oh, uh, I mean, there's oh. a there's a there's a kill spell in here though. Do you mean price of loyalty? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a kill spell. We've this got is a kill spell. Deadly dispute, double sepulchre gold, double skullport merchant. This is a removal spell. This is a removal spell, and it a hits win them condition. All the way out. Uh, yeah, wrapped wrapped in one. Yeah, I like... If you told me at the start of the format, I would be taking price of loyalty over grim bounty. I would not have believed you. Yeah, you'd be taking the the sort of like the. The act of treason with upside. Yeah. That's in every set and is almost never good. And and let alone are playable. Playing yeah, it above the 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 unconditional removal spell. It's possible we should have taken the Grim Bounty and tried to wheel the price, but the Ooh. price is just so good in our deck. I like drop here. Yeah. Or do we pick the windfall? For more treasure. Or do we pick the two drop? How are we, got, how are we doing for removal? We've got triple price, which is removal. Fireball, dragon's fire. Hands. Ray. Ray. Yeah, we've got, we've got plenty of removal. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, okay, um, I, I don't mind a two drop then. Yeah. Worst case, grizzly bears. And we've got a vorpal sword. <sighs> yeah, exactly. It is, it is good with the sword. Some, some, yeah. some, some boblins. Another cell sword or swarming goblins? I think I like a swarming goblins. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's just good, right? It's more fodder. It's a five drop. Yeah, that's it. It's a top end. That's it. Yeah. Wow, a minimus containment this late. Nothing, nothing here for us. You could take a blue card. You could, take a, <laughs> you could rare draft a blue card. Uh, I mean, I'd take this in case we want to splash it. You could take this and splash it. <laughs> uh, well, we could uh, okay, behold gonna... some things, or we could get some treasures going. Yeah, I think I like getting getting some windfall. I mean, we could take this as a finisher. Or we could just uh, take I, their finisher. I think I like that plan more. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, who needs a finisher when we've got their finisher? Uh, nothing I want here. Blue white definitely looks to be the open archetype. Uh, okay, another windfall. Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel, everyone's favorite German politician. Well, we got three to... cards in the the playables section, which is good. That's the that's the number that you need. Yeah, I don't think we were in the open archetype, but I think we've ended up with a good deck. Yeah, um, we do have. Uh, that was including the evolving ones. Yeah, that was including the the lands. But like, where you just chuck a brazen dwarf and a javelin here and there, and you go, yeah, look at that. Or do you like put a put a spoils in there for the extra removal and splash it off of like a single forest and the treasures? Yeah. Um. So we've got four two drops. We're actually a little lot on creatures, aren't we? We've only got ten. Hey, we hey we've got their creatures. We've Don't forget that creatures. we've got their creatures. That is true. So yeah, we could dip into green. Could dip into green for a spoils. Is it absurd to splash hill giant herd gorger? <laughs> I mean, we got a couple of ways of making treasures. What have we got? We've got deadly dispute, double merchant, windfall, windfall, which makes two. And then you could you could put one or two forests in the deck. Yeah, it kind of seems a little. A, it's got that sort of feeling about it. It's like very aspirational, but we're gonna draw it and go. Ah, we aren't casting this until turn ten. Yeah, I mean, I could put in another windfall and a herd gorger. Okay, now now we might be talking. Or, or it could be a dwarf and a minimus containment. Oh yeah, we've we've got. Or we could a non-zero amount of dice rolls in this in this deck. What have we got? We've got the herald, which is repeatable, which is neato. The double swarming goblins and the fireball. Oh, and the fireball. That's it. I my gut feeling is yeah do the two windfalls, and then maybe splash a green card or play it safe and just play one of the other red cards. Is this like the feeling... only time we've been short on playables? Because it kind of yeah, feels so, like it is. Yeah, first time in a while. Because I think we we didn't normally normally when we draft we were pretty good at finding the open archetype, and that way you end up with an abundance <laughs> of playables. But this, but time, this time we were like we... no. This time we kind of took our early price of loyalties and uh, planted our flag. Yeah. Planted their flag. So, or yeah. We took their okay. flag and planted it on our own thing. All right, let's go. Let's go with this. Herd Gorger Windfall. That's kind of funny. I kind of want to do this just because it's funny. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, 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 I reckon with like... A single forest, double windfall, we may end up actually casting it. And it'll be a great moment, and we can celebrate, and it'll be fun for everyone. It'll be awkward when we've got our forest in play and an, and an, our second evolving wilds. Not That's being a able good to fetch a second, Not being able to fetch a second green. But <laughs> I didn't come here to not roll dice. No, it's true. We're rolling dice uh, theoretically and literally. So, yeah, we could play 18 lands as well. Ooh. Um, not because our curve is high, but because we've got the double windfall to just loot them away. But, I am. That's a good point. I don't think we need to do that. All right, let's, let's roll I, with this. I, this. I am ready to go. I like what we've done here. This is going to be a fun experiment. We're going to steal their stuff. We're going to sack their stuff. 
and who knows, we might actually do well. Or not. Have you, have you drafted this deal in Sack? I haven't. It yet? seems to be like everyone knows it's the best deck, so it's like the last deck that you see open. Yeah. Like, I've drafted blue decks far more often than I've drafted the red-black Sack deck. Uh-oh. Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> and there's the herd gotcha. <laughs> One of these cards is not like the other. But we do like this. I mean, the hand doesn't really do anything until turn three, but you know. That's okay. We'll, oh, we'll, we'll we've won already. Oh, blue black. It's it's blue cards. Okay, well that's a black card. They could just be playing blue black, but with no blue cards. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Got the rares. Road class. That's a cute one. Get a there mill goes us. One of, there goes one of my cards. I'm gonna play a Machant. And uh, we might uh, find ourselves uh, with a little bit of a five finger discount next turn. No. Oh, nothing. 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 No land drop. So, pri price of loyalty, sack it? Uh, or do we play really a five drop? About this. Uh, yeah, I guess the downside of playing a five drop is we, we lose this out on playing Herd Gorger anytime soon. But I think that's better than doing nothing this turn. Yeah, we've also got two five drops in hand, so it's not like we're trading off a lot of future action. Yeah, I agree. Harold! Harold! Harold, he's in. He likes to roll the dice. Ooh! Vand of Heckner! Unfortunately, this doesn't work with Price of Loyalty because the ability's on the equipment. Oh, and it uh, gives it to it at the beginning of combat. Yeah. Yeah, and it's at the beginning of combat on your turn, meaning our opponent's turn. Uh, so I think we deprive them of their creature now. Yeah, that seems good, and like also just get in for what? A lot? Seven? Yeah, get in for seven. And draw a card? That's nice. Goodbye. Ooh, and then hello. Basically, anything that they play this turn, it's we're just it's gonna gone. Steal that. <laughs> oh, yeah. come on, pay the life to a oh. quick. Yes. Ah, oh. are they dead? No, they're one short of dead. Um, they're they're very close to dead. Oh man! And if there's a if there's a thing to steal. Soulblade Spy is one of them. Yep. Yoink. Oh, soul. <laughs> <laughs> we got another one! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Draw a card, please. And, uh, oh, and shall we draw another one? Oh, I mistapped my mana. I can't play the Vorpal Sword now. That's it. Bye. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay, that was quick. That was good. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so, um, in case there was any question about it the the sack plan pretty good pretty good right kind of worth train wrecking our draft to build around yeah especially when um your opponent misses their third land drop and then we take their their card with an extremely relevant uh combat damage trigger yeah they must have felt so relieved when we took their two drop they're like ah oh, phew they're not getting my soul knife spy wrong <laughs> wrong Get out of here. Alrighty, who's next? Thomas L. Thomas L. What's he trying to sell? Thomas L. Uh, we got some hands, we got some disputes. It's not bad. doesn't have any plays, but yeah, we can keep this. Oh. I mean, you love to see it. You got, you got you someone. Got for me? Would you, we would like to show you our hands. Oh, goodbye. Bzzzt. Hands. Oh, look. Hey. Would you like to see ours? We've got one too. We've got one equipment in the deck. Is it just the Vorpal Sword? Vorpal Sword 
And yeah, I think we've just got one. Because we um we didn't wheel the thieves tools. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so they made it small, but um, hang on, do we get the? Oh. Yeah, I think it works the way we want. Oh. <laughs> oh, very good. All right, cool. We'll do that next turn. And do we attack here? Uh, it's not worth like if they uh, trade. if they trade there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Make so excited. I'm so excited. Put some counters on it, please. What puts counters on things? I can't I don't even know, but I'm so I'm giddy with excitement. Yeah, there's not a lot of plus one counter gaining in this set. You meet in a tavern, okay. Okay, that's that, that is a tap out though, which is nice. Yeah. Because there is a single green give a thing okay. hexproof in this set. Bugbear and a null hunter, sure. Would we'll, you like we'll, to attack? We'll take it. Okay. Uh we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Here we, go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I Enjoying. would like your thing. We would like to attack with it. And then we would and like to get all of the benefit. Turn it into two one ones and two cards. No, no, it's it's an end step trigger. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. And now we've got the ghoul to go with the second price. Ah, uh, we do too. Oh wow! The price, the price, as it turns out, is right. Yeah, it turns out that the price is right, and we've got the ray as well. We've got the ray up. Yep. Whoa! Or, you know, or there's that. Or we or could, we could that. take that. I'll take it. Are they dead? Uh, seven, eight, nine. They're taking ten. We can do twelve if we pay uh, with the treasure for price. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Yeah. Yoink. Oh, wow, we are just... We are killing the game. This is insane. Oh! I hope, we, I hope we can get through the last few points, though. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, this is silly. <laughs> Oh, now this is lethal on its own, so they have to block this if they can. Yeah. Okay. What color does Warble. Ray hate on? White. Right. So it's a, currently a minus four, minus one. Bugbear, sure. Gonna get a red. My turn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think that's lethal. <laughs> oh no, we took two damage. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Alright. All attack. All attack. What do you got? <laughs> you got some life gain for us? Oh, Samuel! Oh, it's, a dis it's, it's destructive. It's highly destructive. <laughs> Thank you for the Zalto. It was uh That was, was really helpful. helpful. Really did a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if we do. <laughs> okay, so so far a pretty formidable two two zero. Oh, it's still in the ochre jelly, so it could make more fodder for us a Fulka ghoul. <laughs> so crazy. Can you imagine if they played that for six? And we just like, oh we'll have it, also we'll sack it, we'll make a bunch of dudes. <laughs> Great! It's just wild. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, so all we got to do is keep drawing sack outlet and and uh, price. That's all we got to do. 
Yeah, and it, yeah, the the real hammer has been the second price of loyalty so far. <laughs> yeah, because they always go, aha, the, the first one's out of the way, now I can land my big crazy thing. And then we yep. go, how wrong you are. Yeah. The Dragon Knight 7. Hey, look, it's price, it's price in the sack handler, but no black sauce, though. I think it's worth a keep, though. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's see what let's see what's going on. It's a little slow, but we'll manage. Another winter drop. And it's got a one drop. Hey look, the forest. <laughs> there it is. Okay. I freaked out for a second. I'm like, why did we draw a forest? We're like, oh right, yeah, I remember we put one of those in our deck. We did. Okay, blue. Playing blue. Look at us, we're red green. Red Don't green. need to fear price of loyalty deadly dispute. No, nothing to worry about. Ooh, we like nothing. Oh, that's mm. awkward. It's a little awkward, but I mean, we've got. I guess we could at least play a creature next turn. Yeah, it's nice that. What? They didn't sack the Dryad. They just want to really keep getting for one. one. They're the, like. I, I accept your terms. Okay, we do keep no. drawing red, but I Good. guess. Whoop, that's the wrong one. A swamp would be real nice. Oh, Salt Eye. It, it would be. Ah. Is our opponent feeling a little a little sultai at what we're doing? <laughs> You're doing nothing for four turns and then playing a four three. That's that's powerful stuff, man. It is that I mean that's that's a good point. It is powerful stuff. Are they gonna attack? They're gonna make a they're gonna kill it? Ooh, there's a swamp. Nothing, nothing um, you say. Do just attack and leave up the fireball? In case they activate the land. Because this feels like just block sack, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean... Like, give him the trade? Because now, what, like, they can't sack it. Yeah. Like, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll sure. take the two for one. That means you can't ramp. I don't it's understand bad. anything anymore, Sam. Yeah, I'm a bit confused. We can sack the Vorpal Sword to Deadly Dispute. Got, got some bullets. I guess we kill Should the we... bullet, or do we just take Sh it? Should we fireball the bullet? Um, yeah, taking it doesn't seem... Eh, it gives us something to do with our mana next turn, which I kind of like. And also, the fireball's an instant we can grab the land at some point. True, yeah. True. Okay, well, let's, let's go bullet stealing. All aboard the bullet train. All aboard the bullet train. We would like to have your bullet. Now, do we sack it to the ghoul or the deadly dispute? Oh, the deadly dispute. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for your service. <laughs> oh, look, there's some removal spells. Um, I guess I play a ghoul. Play a ghoul or do you keep up the dragon's fire? Yeah, let's play a ghoul. Now, what we would really like is for them to drop, like, a Herd Gorger and for us to draw another price. Correct. That That's the good stuff. Or do they just make big land? That would be an acceptable use of their turn. Yeah. Big uh, we need more swamps to get the Vorpal Sword going on the, on the ghoul. Yeah. Well, there's a gateway to swamps. Yeah. Um, yeah, play I'd the play this. sword, play the wilds, hold up the fireball in case they just go attacking with the land again. Yeah, and hopefully it doesn't have... Hopefully they don't have one more land. Uh, uh, okay, well now they'll probably still... Go on, get in there, get yeah. in there, get in there! Come on. Come on! Activate it. You, you know, know you, you want, want to. to. Don't, don't, 
don't chicken out on us now. You've been that land's been doing so good. Yes. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, you could even just dragon's fire it. Yeah, but I think I'll use all my mana this turn, and then I'll dragon's fire this next. Ah, uh, okay, that's a good point. Very cool. nice. And then we get equip money for the Vorpal Sword. Grab a Schwamp. And another ghoul. So uh, kill, shepherd, equip, swing for four. And um, if we draw another Swamp soon, we actually threaten to win the game. Yeah. Which is kind of wild when you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. that, that card is Come so on, strong. Yes, that'll do it, that'll do it! Will it do it this oh, turn? Wait. I don't think it, it won't do it this turn. Because uh, we need eight, but it'll definitely do it next turn. Four, five, six. So I've got max of seven. Yeah. There it is. Okay, there it is. Right, four, five, six, seven. We're one short, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you go sw swinging, and then you go swamping, and then you can howl it up, and then next turn, next turn we can we can vorp them out of the game. Well, Unfortunately, or... we're just gonna we're just gonna kill them. Oh, wow. wow! That would be a nice one to uh, to steal. Yeah, that's okay, fine. That's good. Now here's here's the game. If we swing with both, and they don't block Sepulchre Ghoul. Is this any target? No. Uh, yeah, they have to block both, right? Because we can just activate this and kill them. Well, they have to block Ghoul. They can't block... Yeah, and at which point this gets through and then we activate it to kill them. Yes. So they are they are dead, but we... Ah, uh, we don't get to go out in style. Boo! We want to spend our mana. Okay. Hit them with the... Roll the dice. Oh, well, we did it! We did it! Okay! 3 0 with like ease and finesse. It's been been pretty convincing so far. It has been like quick games. In, you know, we're just playing we're just playing two twos for two and then stealing their stuff and winning with it. <laughs> yeah. And then when they play their bomb on the last turn, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to win with Vorpal Sword opponent me too like come on that's the boring line blocking with with the thing that has the vorpal sword on it such cowardice <sighs> how when will they ever learn so unreasonable well but it, it is nice that we're moving quickly because yeah. quick, quick games is good games tonight is the olympic climbing and I am a climber, and this is the first year that uh, climbing has ever been in the Olympics. So it's uh, uh, very exciting for the five of us that do that sport. <laughs> There's dozens of great. us. Dozens! It's got our only equipment and a two drop. And double black man. And double black. Wow, we're just going to curve out on them. They're not going to know what's coming. And they got the feign death when they want to trade off with their tutu. Oh, this returns it to its owner's control. Oh dear. Oh, that's very scary. Um. Well, equip it and attack. Yeah. Yeah, so we can't yoink their thing, feign death it, and then sack it. Oh yeah, because they they uh, they will get it. I kind of like them going all in on one creature. Ooh, there we go. That being said, that being said, bam. And uh... oh, it's gonna be a four four. Yeah. You like it. What else have you got? Got a creature? Got a pass the turn? No! That does suck. Ah! Oh. 
That's the worst news in the world. Ugh. All right, we have to draw another one. We've got two more we can draw. Yeah, off the top. Price of loyalty off the top, please. Can I can I ask for that? Price of, price of loyalty off the top. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's the opposite of price of loyalty. Well, God. we are technically... Technically... Still winning the race. Yeah... Hey, you could sack the Vorpal Sword. I can, and I'm wondering if I actually will. Okay. It really does just sort of get out of control, doesn't it? It's really powerful, yeah. Bullets? Firing. Firing a bullet. The bullet train has started. Ooh, price of loyalty off the top is the win. Please and thank you, arena developers. Please and thank Come you, on. arena developers. Hang on. Does that mean we should deadly dispute away the Vorpal Sword? Because if we do get it, we get the plus two off of the treasure anyway. Oh, true. Like, this is our shot? Yeah. Because then it doesn't matter that we're sacking it. I don't know. Yeah. It's... Yeah, no, no. I like that, actually. Yeah. Make sure you don't sack the veteran. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Well, that's not quite it. Go again? Oh, yeah. Go again. Love to go again. Get out of here, Herd Gorge. I don't want you. Yeah. That's what the Herd Gorge is for. It's for discarding to windfalls. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't discard the Herd Gorger, because if we don't draw what we want, we can actually play Herd Gorger next turn. Oh, yeah, true. So I guess I pitch Fang there. Yeah. Good call, yeah. Hey! Yay! We did it! <laughs> oh, we got two of them! <laughs> Yoink. Oh, this is... Hang on. Do... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's mad. Yoink. We'll have both of them, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's so crazy oh my god i love it that's insane <laughs> end of turn <laughs> deadly dispute away my vorpal sword unexpected windfall draw double price of loyalty guess <laughs> Amazing. We we like we like those. We like those. Okay, so <laughs> we're having a great time over here. Uh absolutely crushing our opponents with their own creatures. <laughs> Before turning them into more cards for us. More cards, more treasures, uh more more wins. Just amazing. <laughs> Ah, oh, the digging that we did, though. Oh my god, that was incredible. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, it's got two drops in it. It's got three. Well, it's got it's got two, four, five, and we've got four lands in hand. So we're playing magic at least. Get a price of loyalty off the top just to make everything look nice and smooth. Ooh, more scary Morse. classes. Man, I have to say, like, ooh, I feel really proud about the, the Vorpal Sword line. Yeah, well spotted. That, that was, was, that was, that was clever. Part. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that it made a treasure, so... So the plus two. Would... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we drew into the, 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 the dig again. So yeah. We had just enough mana to play it. Ah, love it. Amazing. That's... Well... We don't like those. Well, no, we don't like those very much. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. We like them when they're ours. Yeah. Yoink. Can we have that? Is that, you, is that okay? Do you mind if we borrow that? Can we just have that just for the moment? Yeah, just... We'll I just, promise we'll give it back. Yeah. I promise. No, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll give, oh, oh no, what happened? Oh, we lost it. Sorry, I'm so I, sorry. I lost your thing. 
I didn't mean to do that. I'll buy you a new one. Oh, right. My, my goblins cost six on their turn. Oh. Yep, deal. Okay, I accept. Okay, 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 okay. Cell sword. In for two. Ooh, land. Land off the top would be nice. <clears throat> In a sec. There's only six creatures. Bassets. My turn. Hey, land is great. We like those. Uh, so let's get in with Cell Sword. Would you like to trade? You want to trade? Be amazed if they don't trade here. Oh. Okay. Okay. And then I guess we play Goblini. Everyone loves a good Goblini. Delicious. Delicious goblins. Twelve. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, I raise you four. Hmm, price of loyalty to be, be nice. Another, another bullet train. Another bullet train. Gets in for two? No. No. Oh, that's nice. Oh, especially on the goblins. <laughs> Yeah, but I think we want to use all our mana this turn. So I think we'll just play Herald and pass. Yeah. Yeah. What's the uh, what's the last chapter on uh, Paladin class get us? We'll get them. Maybe. You... Wow. Okay, that's that's quite strong. Hmm. So it could make a large a large bullet train here. It's a pity uh, we won't get the benefit when we attack with their creatures. Yeah, I know. That's really unfair. Why can't we have this as well? Yeah. Where's Price of Paladin class? <laughs> price of Paladin class. Price of enchantments. Or just Price of class. Price of class? It's, it's just a, it's an image of uh, the, the bourgeoisie getting overthrown by the proletariat. Uh, I thought it might have been an image of, like, the university bill you get at the end of the year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What you got, Shroncor? Shroncor. They got a lot of thinking to do, or they got a lot of lasagna in the oven? It's not Shron Crust. Shroncor. Definitely lots of lasagna. So much lasagna in the oven. I know, they're mousing over. They're back. Or their cats just jumped up onto the onto the desk. Oh yeah, they're, they're having to, to to wrestle it under control. Move to combat, so it's too late to activate the paladin class. Not that you have the mana for it anyway. Ooh, spoils. That would kind of spoil that day. <laughs> We've got an audience here. We do have a we do have a, an audience ready and willing. To find find you on arena with your username and harass you. Please don't do that. <laughs> we might need to blur out Shroncor's name. Yeah, because of the the the, th the threat of harass. Wow, getting in, getting busy. Block with Harold. Or we'll just take it. We'll just take it. I mean, this is a good point. Yeah, I think we'll just take it. Are we gonna Price edit? off the top for the win? Right, okay. Okay. Uh, Sack it? So they don't get the... No, they do, because it's, um, it's got two okay. targets. Well, that's not price. It's, not. it's a gateway to price by um, looting it away to windfall. Yeah, I guess I start with that. Yeah, because we at least we can play almost whatever we get off the top, and it could be price. Ooh. Okay. 
All right, all right, all right. So if I get in for six. With ghoul and goblins? Yeah. And then leave back the, the goblin block sack? Oh, yeah, block sack to dispute? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. This doesn't give trample, does it? No, it just gives double no. strike. And they can't level this up and kill one of our things. So I think we're good. And then... Price off of the draw with uh, with Dispute. Ooh. Yeah, for the win. That'd yep. be nice. We, we like those. Seems pretty good. Seven Thinking. power. Seems unlikely that we die from this point. I could... Bull Strength doesn't give Trample, does it? Oh, no, it does. It, it does. does. It plus two, plus two, and Trample. So they can make this seven with Trample, so that again, if a six plus two. Eight. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's conservative. Just the bullet train. Well, I mean, they, they are on eight. Uh, that's a good point. Oh, this costs one more. That's awkward. Oh, that's not so bad. I mean, it's good that we didn't have no land up. Yeah. Draw the two. Is the there price it right? is. Oh. There it is. The price is right. What else you got? What do you got? Tap out. I mean, a bigger thing for us to take. I mean, it's potential they got some sort of hexproof thing, but I think we go for it, right? Or do we just take the 2 3 and win with that? Yeah, so it's like, do we take this and attack for lethal? Or do we take this and force them to trade and still get in for 6? Oh no, I can play this as well. Oh yeah. So, yeah, I think we go... Oh, no, I don't need to. I can I can use the treasure. Oh, you can, of course, yes. Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no it doesn't matter, because they're going to block it. Yeah, so I'm, I think I take the, bu the bullet. So, why wouldn't we take the basilisk? Um, well, like, what... So, if they've got... You hear something on watch... To kill this, right? Then they then they can just take this. Oh no! I guess we sack in response. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, we can. Oh, but that means we can't sack their thing because we can only sack once a turn. But we do have the feign death if they they hit they try and kill it, which will create a goblin. What do you like here? I like the Basilisk just because of how pointy it is. Like, they, we really have to force them to come up with an answer. Yeah. Okay. And if they give it Hexproof, I guess, you know... We cop that. But, I mean, they could just scoop it up here. Oh man, I am nervous. Yeah. Certainly a lot that could go wrong here. Thinking. Lasagna. Oh, bull strength untaps. That one's worth keeping in mind as well. That was a good point. You would like to spoils. Oh, well, this is when you feign death. Yeah. Goblin. Cool. Then we go to combat. Oh, yeah, um, sack the goblin. Win. Oh it's no, that's one, seven. One that's shot. one shot. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, I thought that was lethal as well, but we lost the plus one on there. Oh, of their course. <sighs> All right. What do you got? What you got? 
they've got to produce a fair bit here. They need to, like, make two blockers or kill one of our things and make a blocker. Seems unlikely with four mana. Yeah. Albez, not bad. That's, yeah, but I think that's I think that's lethal for us, right? They block here and here and take exactly three. Or oh, or, or, or or there's or. that. Which one do you want? Hmm. What are you feeling? Let's let's, let's take the big one. Let's take the big one. All right. Yoink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That the price of loyalty is intense. <laughs> Hell yes. This is incredible. Is that 4 0? 5 0? That's, I think, 4 or 5 0. Alrighty, let's go. So we came into this hoping to get a win with Vorpal Sword. And instead, all they're doing is just yoinking their stuff and Taking killing them. stuff and killing them with it, also sacking it, etc, etc, etc. Fetzen is our next victim. Is our next, where the, uh, welcome, Fetzen, to everyone's favourite uh, game show, The Price is Right. Uh, yeah. It's not great, but it'll do. Yeah. No price yet, but we'll, we'll find one. We've got a windfall in here. Yeah. Got a, a hawk. Got a hawk. We've got a veteran. Man, these these winds are coming thick and fast, and I'm getting a little addicted to it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, red black. 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 Okay. Okay. Not red black. White black. Uh, okay. That's pretty good. Uh... I think I just pass here. I don't think they block. You could probably get two in, and they. they... Yeah, I'm more worried about them kill killing this and then getting in for two. Uh, mm. yeah, no. Nah. I mean, we got the feign death. Wow. Oh, well. Okay. Okay. Deal. We'll take it. That was telegraphed as well. Yeah, we, we basically so sent them a letter. We were like, "Hello, we're going to cast feign death." Dear Fetson. We have a fade death. Oh, and kind the precipitous drop too, wow. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Yeah, I mean, like, we've got a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, hello! Oh, no, we've and, got a 5-3. Oh, and five, we've three. got the, the money to, to do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Check out our black-red equipment deck. Check it out. Be afraid. Be very afraid. And then the windfall, if we ever cast it, should get us the. Okay, uh -oh. that's a scary one. Okay, land's good. Land's good for goblins. Yeah. We just beat them down with the the five power menace creature. Yeah. That kills all Twelve. the creatures that try to block it. All right, I'll take it. That's good. That that kills the adventurer. Yeah. Zom Zom Zombogra. Okay. Um. Uh, I mean. Swing, with the Vorpal with the, sword guy. Swing with swing with the veteran, and then if they if they block with Hawk and Ogre, we just take that trade. Well, I reckon. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean... Which is probably fine with us, right? Yeah. And then we, then just, we just strap, strap the it to the, to the goblins, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? What do you got? What do you think? Take five? You could take five here. Deal. Or this, that. We'll take it. Don't have to two for one our goblins. And so we play the mountain, equip the sword. Do we equip it to a goblin or the the big the big the big goblin? Uh, I think I uh, like little goblin because it doesn't help this get through this. 
No, but if they play a creature next turn, they might have the the. Oh, but then again, we've got a three one with death touch. If they want to trade away their their two biggish creatures for a three one with death touch, I'll I'll take that. Why would it be two? Because it's got death touch. Oh, it doesn't have menace. Ha. Yeah, it doesn't. Have, yeah, the last one had menace. And the last one had. They menace. are. They are deceased. They have ceased to be. Gonna kill it. Got a minimus containment the sword. Man, just like one to cast, two to equip, plus two plus oh death touch. That's not bad. It's strong, especially when you get things that get menace off of it. Now Vetson's got lasagna to go get out of the oven. Uh, we seem to be putting a lot of lasagna in ovens. Oh, Oop. okay. This drop is precipitous. Sure. Down okay. right. Proceed. Double, double delve. Are they up to the end now? So we get the counter on the the three five. Oh. No. Well, just run that out then. Yeah. Can we get a ten again? Ah. Oh. Oh. So unlucky. So unlucky. And as soon as we break off the top, we got windfall. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. I mean, it's kind of a funny choice that we have to make because it's either pitch it to windfall, never cast it. Yeah, I think we just hold on to it because we can cast it as soon as we windfall. Probably just trade goblins here. Yeah, everyone loves a good goblin trade. They got they no matter. cards in hand? Nope, they're empty. Having a good old think. Takes the three? On the chin? Takes the three. Alright. Yeah, that 2-2 two -two isn't doing them a lot. No, I'm very surprised they didn't make the trade there. You can get in for three. You can get, you get a venture. And they get the, they they get to draw the card. Yeah. Okay, in for three. If they play yeah, something we... pretty threatening here, hmm. there's a chance that we win. Fall away the herd villager. Paladin. Okay. What do you reckon? I now don't mind windfalling because we can't windfall and herd gorger in the same turn yeah this is going to be the biggest thing on the board though once we get it to stick that's a good point also we don't have a sack outlet so if we find a price like the best we probably got is like planar ally yeah yeah okay let's Just... let's 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 wait it okay well okay. now we now we do it yeah and then if we if we draw something we can cast that's nice. Huh. Yeah, or not. Not particularly helpful. So wilds pass or wild swing pass. Yeah, so wild let's swing go... pass re equip. Yeah. Get the two two out of there. Should have done that last time. Play wilds, equip. To goblin, goblin, go, um, and then next time we get a herd gorger. Yeah, and I guess I go get another mountain. That's pretty good. Or do I want another swamp? Um, well, I've got another mountain in hand. I'll, I'll grab another swamp because this it, is three to activate. And also, we've got the Vorpal sword activation. Yeah, yeah, yeah means they have to keep blocking whatever's got the sword. Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's grab a swamp. Oh, oh nice. and they got a board full of white white cards? That's nice. It's 
Seems pretty good. All right, so let's go. So attack with the Vorpal him. Sword, threaten them with the win. Yeah, so they'll probably just trade off Priest of Ancient Law here. Yeah. Yep. And we can and slam we a Herd Gorger. Yeah. Herd Gorger. Can I guess I kill the Planner Ally now. Just in case they draw something. Yeah, then in case they draw Fain Death or something like that. Yeah, okay. And then and then if they don't draw pretty hot, the board's looking pretty sad. Yeah. Do we equip get... now using the treasure so that we can threaten the win next turn? Hmm, I think so. And I guess we put it on the 7-6? Yeah, because then if they want to double block, they have to lose both their creatures. Yeah. It does put a big old target on it, but it was it had a big old target. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we like those. Yeah. Price. Okay, we'll take so a merchant. A merchant and the activation is nice. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, no, now we can't activate the Vorpal Sword. That's okay. Yeah, I should have done that post combat. That was silly. Sure. <clears throat> so we've ground all of our goblin tokens against their real creatures. Just got a two for one. I'm feeling pretty good about this. And now we're gonna make another treasure and now we can sack treasures draw cards yeah and they all and we're looking not so bad opponents having a nice time over there do we sack two treasures to draw one card isn't it because i need to pay two yeah, yeah. nah let's let's keep them in the bank yeah Ooh. Oh, that's, that's pretty good um, um. I guess I fireball a zombie ogre out of the way. Well, or do you or I got equip four, the, seven, equip the eight, Vorpal Sword first? To a goblin? Yeah. Because we're threatening the win there, so they have to trade off a zombie ogre. Or at least throw the goblin in front of it. Yeah. And then we get to fireball the other one. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Bam. Uh, pass the turn. Or do we kill it now? Uh, what? Oh, kill it now, because don't they get a trigger on their turn? Oh, yeah, true. Only if they play another one. Hey! 17. Nice. Uh, what do you got? What do you got? Are you dead? 50, 50 feet. feet of rope. It's a lot yeah. of rope. They can... Venture. That? Okay. Interesting. You can get a plus one counter or drain one. Okay. <laughs> I All accept. Right. All right. I mean, I guess they're, they're, they're looking for the card next turn. Yeah, there's the evolving wilds. Well, let's uh. Now, hang on. Do we um do we sack in case we draw? Dragons? No, because I think we want to leave the mana up to activate. Oh, them, of so. course. I keep forgetting that you can't like go digging. Ah, oh, boo! <laughs> oh, come on, boo! With the draft punks audience as my witness, we need to activate. The Vorpal Sword ability by the end of the video. Wow, we can really just go crazy in it, can't we? Okay, well, I mean, we'll do it again. Land. Okay. Just a, just a casual ancestral recall hands. on that turn. Well, I mean. Oi, we're gonna do it! We're... No! Oh, come on, come let back. us do it! We come wanna back. do it! Oh, 
Why do we get bullied so, Adrian? We're just trying to play cards and activate abilities and people are leaving games left, right, and center. It's just not right. It's not fair. It's not like we, it's not like we just beat them into the ground or no, anything. No, it's, it's not. It's not like that. It's just so unreasonable. Extremely unreasonable. Very undraft punks. They're probably not even subscribed. Oh, not even subscribed. No, not at all. Definitely haven't all... hit the little notification bell. None of that. Because, of course, all of you are subscribed, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, and you've we, all hit the, we, little, we the little bell icon. We know this. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. You're, you're here for this uh, <laughs> hot draft punks crushing of Jasper 7798. Well, it's got uh, a price in it. It's it got a removal does. spell? A removal-ish spell. Yeah, it's a little slow, but... I didn't come hit a mulligan price of loyalty. Yeah, especially when we're 6 0. Exactly. Jasper 7798. We've been through all 7,797 Jaspers and we've found this one. Wall? Oh, is it class? Is it class? Um... Okay, well, we'll go get a red. Red or a green? I think I like green, actually. You like green? Well, I'm just thinking about, like, if we draw Fireball, if we draw, um... Yeah, but we've got we've got seven other mountains that we can draw. Okay, that's a good point. I could leave it uncracked. Oh, that's wow. That's an option two. That is an option two. <laughs> and then we'll draw a two drop. <laughs> Correct, yeah. <laughs> ooh, let's... Take this. Ooh, 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 I'm calling... I'm calling black. I'm calling. I reckon they're gonna go look for a for a black source. Uh, red. Red. Oh. Or, <laughs> or, or mono blue. Okay. There we well, there's go. the second red. So. Ooh, a black green. We're playing black green opponent. What are you gonna do? We'll leave up uh, Ray Charles. Oh, blue green. Okay. Ray Charles. Hands. Hands is good against yeah. green cards, right? Yes, yeah. Jund. We have we have completed Jund. We have Jund online. Because we're playing on Magic Arena. Oh right. wow. I like uh, going nice and slow. You know what I reckon this reeks of? Uh, this reeks of the um uh, the equipment the that Null makes Hunter. not the equipment the artifact that makes things four fours. Oh, black stuff. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Do I kill the Null Hunter? I think I do. Yeah, it's a decent way to spend the turn. This is a this is a cute combo. Oh, it is too. Uh, cell sword. Yes! Hey! <laughs> nice. Not the most glamorous call, but you know, it'll do. That's what I wanted. I just wanted a four drop, and it's our only one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh! Sack, sack outlet. Can we have a sack outlet? Um. What does it do again? Oh, Ward 4. Yeah, but only only while it's untapped, so we can take a hit from it. So do we dig S this turn for that? Yeah, I think so. So I think let's attack with Cell Sword, because if they block with Imroth, we can ray it. Yep. Yep. And um, I don't mind trading 4 for... Well, I guess they'll be getting in for 7. Oh, no, no, we can play this to... Well, I guess we can play this to block... To block what? This. Oh. oh, this can keep on tapping Imrith. Uh, well, that that's why I don't reckon you play a creature, because they probably attack with it. Okay. Also, it doesn't work in response because it's a cast trigger. It's like when it becomes the target. Yeah, and they can only activate this on their turn anyway. Oh, okay. Of course. Yes. So, Harold? Oh, so you, you like Harold here? Oh, or do we, do we dig? Yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, dig. Let's dig. Let's dig. Let's dig. 
I kind of don't mind Harold though, because we might be able to just kill them if we play a 4 4 and keep attacking. True. And like, I guess we can. We can dig next turn. That's pretty loathsome. Oh my Jesus. god. That's incredible. And they untap it. Wow, that's very very proactive of them. Well, I guess we've still got the the decent attacks with Ray, because we could pay the tax. Yeah, we'd now just have to trade with Loadsome Troll. Which isn't terrible. I could take the Loadsome Troll. Get in with everything. Threaten them with 14. But then I can't pay for Ray on Imrith. But I can I can feign death. Can feign death. So... Just not on the troll. But then they still have the troll next turn and we tapped out. Yeah, so then they, they can put like door on troll, Imrith on herald we're just getting in four doesn't seem worth it does it no and i think they actually have us dead next turn if we do that yeah because okay. they got so 13 we're... on the crackback so i guess we just play goblins and pass i don't mind attacking and then getting rid of imrith yeah i don't think they'll block with imrith though. i think they'll just trade here okay well if you attack with one Ah, uh, that's a good point. Yeah, they probably won't block, will they? Okay, yeah, maybe goblins is the go. Or do we dig for a sack outlet? Hmm. Problem is, I reckon they're going to be smart and they're just going to keep Imrith untapped. And then do we pass and then loot away the ray? Or do we loot away the ray now so we can maybe hit a land drop? Or do we loot away goblins? Do we loot away goblins? That's a good point. Yeah, okay. 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 We either get busy looting or we get busy not looting. Well, there's a sack outlet. There's a sack outlet. Okay, so hopefully they attack with Conjurer now. Druid class, sure. That doesn't do anything. Sure. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Man, they're just... Come on. Oh, yes! 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 Yeah. It's so strong, what the hell? Okay, so let's go... My turn. Then we go... Take Imrith. Price Imrith. Attack with... 5-5... Five, five. No, attack with... Everything. And then raid. we can raid a lurking rogue if we need to. And then right. play the land, and then we'll draw a card with Emrith. Oh yeah, true. Yep. I guess I play this first. As yeah, well, yeah, then. you play the ghoul first. And then we pay with a treasure for price. Yeah. Pay with treasure. Yeah. Oh baby. This is pretty big. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. And then we ray this. Oh, this is a blowout. Go to damage. This is huge. I reckon they had this game in the bag if they didn't attack with that clever con. So wait till the Imrith trigger goes on the stack, then then sack it. Read Imrith just quick. 
Oh, okay. No, we we got the trigger. Okay, so you can sack it now. Yeah, yeah. I should I should have cracked my evolving wilds first. That was my bad. I'm just gonna do this now. And then we can play herd gorger next turn. Oh man! And if we this game turned around. Look at how crazy that was. Insane. Their whole board is gone. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Okay, does they can play an additional land. They can play two lands and play a creature. Okay, they get they get to gain some life. But we've even got the drain off of Harold. Okay, yep. that's low impact. That's fine. And then divination. Okay. Ooh, can you imagine price off the top? That would probably be lethal. That probably may not mean it would be lethal. My turn. Uh, okay, so let's go in with the two big guys. In with the two big guys. They're going to have yeah. to block at least one of them. Her yeah, so they probably just double block. They probably double block Cell Sword, which is fine. Easy. I could get in with everything. So if they if if you get in with everything, block here block here. They take four. I can activate this for another. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are they dead? If you attack with everything, regardless of how they block, you can activate Harold, sack to ghoul. So if they block Ghoul and Cell Sword. Oh, that's only it... six. No, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, well, I think just attack with the two big big boys. Yeah, I agree. Because I want to keep this around in case we draw a price. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're dead. No, yeah. they're not. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, I didn't attack with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Herd Gorger? Yeah. Hey, look, we're playing cards with double green on them, and we're also going to go back up to nine. What do you think of that? <laughs> this deck is so silly. <laughs> What's you got over there? A little okay. bit more life? Yeah, sure. More life game. Play another land? You make a big creature. Okay. It's a big boy. Oh man, imagine if we draw a price now. Are they dead? Things life in them. Activate the wizard class, and then I think you are confirmed dead. Guild thief. Guild okay. Thief no is a blocker. Oh. So price off the top would be nice. Any removal spell gets yeah. us there as well. Maybe or we could just hold it back and just start activating how it Hello! Well that's pretty good. So we've got four, we've got eight mana right now. So Carol is six to activate? Yeah. So Yeah, I can't get in. I can't get in with everything. Got eight mana. So yeah, I think I just. Hmm. Do I activate Harold or do I play and equip the sword? That's really what this boils down to. I could play and equip the sword, and attack with Jaded Cell Sword. And then they have to chump it with Guild Thief. thief. Or do yeah, or double block it, either of which are fine with us. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, this this seems pretty good. Yeah, Go agreed. In we go.
What would you like to do? It's all bad for you. None of it's great. Well, yeah. okay, we'll take it. Take the two for one. Um, we're we can... out of black mana, so we'll pass it that. Cool. Oh, here comes the troll. Here it comes. Where's it going? Pay the Back ooh. to, hand. Back to okay. the hand. Alright. Pay the troll toll. This is when they give the land flying and ten us. <laughs> <laughs> that would be incredible. Okay, probably on the life gain the life gain mode. Yeah. yeah. And the troll, and okay. The troll. Okay, they're putting up a fight. But see, now we have equip and activate. Yeah, we don't have equip and use it, though. So I guess we just equip it to the ghoul? Equip it to the ghoul, activate, pass the turn. Well, activate on their turn or whatever. Yeah. They actually should have attacked on their on their turn. So yeah, let's equip here. Play land, pass the turn. One, two, three. Yeah. They are actually surprisingly in this game. Yeah, that ten ten's a real the real deal. Yeah, pixie guide is fine. Can we have one to go with our herald? Ooh. What's the bad mode on Herald? They lose two. They One, draw an yeah, outlet. That's pretty, that's good. pretty good. I don't see anything else. Ah, oh, they can do that. Okay. Where uh, are we going? Se sequencing opponent. Sequencing could have scryed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gains a life. Okay. Okay, well, we go. Nice. I like those. That gets us out of that forest range. Ooh, we like oh, those as good. well. That's really good. Uh, so I guess I just play that and then sack its treasure immediately. Or do you attack with the ghoul first? Trade it for Pixie Guide? Ah, oh, yeah, that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see if we can find a prize of loyalty. Oh, agreed. Which will take us off the activate, but I think it's a better... We're happy to spin that wheel. Yeah. Well... <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I guess we just pass. Yep. Yeah. We drawn a bit of land. Yeah, they've drawn nine. We've drawn four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Got the got the, the ultimate on the wizard class. Smashes oh. it. Well, sack it to the skullport. Oh, and only treasure. Damn. That's awkward. Okay, it's pretty good. Okay. Now what do we do if they attack? I guess I can just put Herd Gorger and Herald on it. Yeah. In with that one. Okay, I'll just trade this Sepulchre Ghoul for that. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, because it's not our... Uh, we've, we've got another sack outlet. Yeah. I think. I mean, does that put us dead to... Well, I mean, if we draw... If I leave these on the... If I leave this on the board, does that mean price... Is lethal. I can take the ten ten. They put Pixie Guide in front of the ten ten. Three three, three, three in front of the seven six. Of... I count eight. Yeah, so maybe I take this and hope to draw a price this turn. You could. I can just I can make this trade next turn if I need to. I think okay, it's, it's worth giving it's, us. It's risky though, because like if we don't draw price. We are now forced to block a lot of their attacks. 
Rude. Yeah, okay. Price off the top. I'll take a windfall as well. Windfall would be really good. That is a good one. What is that? So if I could dragons fire their three three. Get in with everything. Ten ten on seven six one five here. Yeah, it doesn't really do much, does it? No, and you can also kill the thing that they put the counter on. Yeah, so hopefully they point it. Yeah, well, yeah, probably wherever they point the counter is what I'll kill. And you can also activate Harold. Yeah. Okay. Play the land. No, I want to hold it in case I draw a windfall. Uh, yep. Good. Good up. It's a little bit awkward in case I draw another land because then I can't get two activations off Harold. But windfall is so good here that I want to give myself the out to draw it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this is tricky. About? Yeah, complicated game. They oh, they can activate map. Isn't it three tap? Oh, and it's Is a sorcery. It? Where did the extra mana come from? The the creature? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, okay. Back to hand. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to kill something? I think I... yeah. So now I kill that. Resolve. Yeah. Put a counter on the pixie guide. Oh, okay, okay well, I guess it is a trampler. Plays the, the troll. We're just trolling. Gets in. Yeah, okay. okay. Sure. And then we get to roll with Harold. Yep. Okay. So two's fine. My turn. Oh, okay. We like that. Yeah, that's quite good. Isn't that it? gums up the board real nice. Yeah. And, and we can sack the tokens to this. Yeah. Multiple. Yeah. <sighs> so unlucky. Uh, now, do I sack a token? Or... Because we can sack and draw live to price? Yeah, or do I drain with Herald? I think I drain with Herald, actually. Because if they don't gain any life... This puts them to four, and then if I draw a land, I can double activate. Okay, yep. So we might have to trade our Herd Gorger for the Owl Bear, but that's fine. Weirdly enough, I really don't want to see a land because that gains them one life. Yeah. So I want to see no land for them and land for us for the win. <laughs> they played the Troubadour though. Venture. They are okay. Venture, which is, that's a good sign. Yeah. Now if they attack with the Owlbear, do I just take it in the hopes of price being lethal? Well, you've also still got the out of price and also um Harold Harold Harold. Like triple Harold. Yeah. Come on, don't attack just, with Albert. Just the Pixie Guide would be lovely. Yes. Nice. Okay. Cool, that's fine. So Harold. Can I see a fourteen? Fourteen dealer? I'll take 20. So greedy. I'll take 20. Or have you been, you've been passing some... Hey! 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 
and oh, that's to... cards as well. Holy sh! I need to dream a little bigger, darling. Oh, and okay. we, we won. We won. Oh, and we win. Okay. Activate. Can they gain life at instant speed? Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! Harold in for the win. 7 0. Oh my god. Bay V7 0. What a finish. What a grind finish. That was an incredible game at the end. That was that really was the only wild. game that gave us a bit of trouble as well. I know. Oh my god. 7 0. <laughs> Unstoppable. Weren't even in the open archetype. Right? We, we forced this when we weren't supposed to. Completely and we just forced and we just ate everyone for breakfast. Easy 7 0. We took this like third pick or something as well. Yeah. And it was just, we, that was all we wanted to draw the entire draft was just price. <laughs> so strong. And we had like that critical mass of sack outlets that we were never really wanting for one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All we needed to draw was the price. The rest of it sorted itself out. And we cast Herd Gorger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, didn't really, we didn't really have any trouble with it either. No, we even opened it in an opening hand and just sort of like played it at some point. Or did we yeah. Did we toss it to... No, we didn't even. I think, we, yeah, we tossed it to a windfall at one point, which is a fine fail case as well. Yeah. But yeah, these treasure decks, they just make so much treasure. You can just splash whatever the hell you want. I love it. Yeah, the fact that it doesn't make manner of the colors that you're in, it makes anything you want. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Unreal. That was incredible. <laughs> it, 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 that it was. <sighs> oh, my God. Cool. All right. That will, uh, that will bring us to this week's shout-out, Troy. This is where we give personalized shout-outs to everyone who commented on our latest video. Uh, while we get that ready, today's... Pick of the week is up on screen now. Hint, the correct, the correct pick was Price of Loyalty. <laughs> or the sack drop outlet. Us, <laughs> drop us a comment. Let us know what you would have taken here, and we'll feature you in this segment next week. Adrian, what did the fine folks have to say about Pick of the Week last week? All right, for Forgotten Realms draft number four, uh, we have Makai Sharp Eye Cleland in the comment section. Uh, who says, pick of the week, I tend to agree. I think the giant is the right pick up there. However, if you were really leaning into the life gain synergy, I might have gone shepherd. If you had a teleportation circle, then I would go potion. Then that is an interesting take. I'm keen to do that at some point. I really want to open open toilet paper circle and then <laughs> just take every, or just wheel every potion and just, just go nuts with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And um, Makai also says, compliments to Sam on the editing of these. Uh, you make it super fun to watch, even in random moments an hour into the video. I'm always laughing. Uh, and then compliments to Adrian for always being funny. Happy August. And compliments to Adrian for the for the editing. Yeah. Well. We, we, we share the editing load. We, so. we share the load. Um, I, I tend to do most of the video editing. Sam tends to do the, I guess, the the audio editing plus the 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 recommendations for the for for the funniness yeah so often the often the gags are, are my idea and then the the actual execution of them is all adrian so your thanks are very welcome makai it's glad to know that they're uh they're recognized because we do just sort of sprinkle them throughout the video without really much indication that they exist or where they exist so it's yep. good to know that you're finding them and enjoying them and we enjoy them as well. They're a lot of fun. Oh, we, we crack ourselves up on like the Discord sort of post debrief that we do before we set a uh video live. It's it's yep. it's very good. It's very good, yeah. So thank you, Mackay. And we've also got for pick of the week, uh Michael Raymond, um who firstly says, No good dungeon master presents the cube right when you're expecting it, you get them right after. Um, so <laughs> Which is, I mean, the the timing was also almost really good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, funny at our expense rather than for our benefit. Yeah, and then he also goes on to say that the arena devs go, "We gave you Orcus pack one, pick one in the format. Stop complaining, you greedy boys." Which is true, and you did even uh, mention before we started recording today that we really super got hooked up in the first video. That that first draft deck was insane. Normally, normally your first draft of a format's a bit of a mess because you don't really know what's going on. But 
if you haven't seen it, go go watch AFR draft number one. <laughs> it, was, it was a crazy deck. Yeah, it's even better when you consider that we were up at like three or four a.m. when we were playing that. So it was yep. uh, it was a sleep deprived deck and a good deck. So maximum points for us. Agreed. Um, Michael then goes on to say that I think lots of people, Sam included, are undervaluing white curve out decks in the format. Uh, good to see that my deep my DPs are learning the va- to value stats. That's that's pretty much what this format is about. It's creatures with good stats. Don't worry too much about synergy, even though we kind of drafted a combo deck today. Um, but yeah, the the stats on your creatures is really what it's about. So if you're trying to get better at this format, take things like Lurking Roper and Steadfast Paladin. Take those over even what you would normally consider good good synergy pieces. So yeah, Michael's Michael's right on with that. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, uh, pick of the week is Shepherd for me. Uh, a 2-3 Vigilance drives aggro up the wall, especially with ticking life gain. Um, Hill Giant would be a contender if you didn't already have Sam's Turgid 7 drop to top out your curve. The rudeness of these people. Unbelievable. I know. But uh thank you thank you, Michael Raymond. Uh fantastic see to see you in pretty much every video. I this the number of videos where you haven't commented, I think, uh are dwarfed by the ones that you have. So thank you very much. Okay. Uh, and on the comments we've got a new commenter, James Zahn. Uh our host's bitter defense when with the imagined comments over the veteran dungeoneer made this video a treat. And um Oh, we we had fun doing it, and uh, Sam Sam is gonna die on that hill, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, as I as I said in my reply to James, you you know you've got a good thing going when you need to make up enemies <laughs> because your little corner of the internet is just overwhelmingly positive. I need to make up people to fight with. Yes. Yeah, it's a it's a it is a good point, and um, I I do like the the ongoing beef. Where where Sam versus the people on the account of <laughs> is the uh, dungeoneer good or not? <laughs> so thank you very much, James. Excellent to see you in the comment section. Welcome, welcome to the draft punks. Um, you 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 seem to have fit right in, which is fantastic. Hope to hear from you in the future. Agreed. Uh, l- second last this week, uh, we got Werner Beinhart in again. Um, could you crack open some packs at the end of the video? Really would appreciate hashtag slot machine addict. Yeah, okay. Save and exit. We're gonna uh, we're gonna open some packs. Oh, we got some strip. Oh, look at all these packs. This is what Sam does. Sam is <laughs> Sam is not a slot machine addict, and and so he hoards the booster packs. So this is for Look, your I'm viewing them. your viewing pleasure right now and um demo. demo. Man, Strixhaven feels like a million years away now. I know, right? It feels so long ago. Yeah. Ooh. Condrix Apprentice. Good good draft card. Oh yes. Bad bad draft card. What else we got? Oh, this is bringing back so many memories, Sam. Silver Cool right? Apprentice, decent. Yeah, Silver Cool Apprentice. Yeah. What do we got? The ooh, Pugilist. Ooh, that's a bomb. Take that. That was a good one. Pick I was that. happy to first pick that one. Strict what do I need from this set? Need... Uncommon, oh. uncommon wild cards. Uh, okay. Multiple choice. This showed yeah, up. Not, not bad. This, this showed up in a modern list the other day. Oh, in, really? Uh, in Blue Tron. In Blue Tron. Wow. Very funny. Best uncommon in the set. Shock. No, teachings. no, lightning bolt. Oh, sorry, lightning bolt. Okay. Right, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the that's all the packs. Oh, Verna. Um, I'm sure you can you'll have opinions on this and you can uh you can share them in the comments on this video. <laughs> so thank you, Verna. There's your there's your uh your slot machine your your slot machine uh weekly from the draft punks so thank you tell you what you drop drop us a comment every week about cracking the packs and i will crack some packs every week (laughs) open just open one open one afr for him go on i cracked i cracked my entire collection (laughs) of strixhaven packs i now don't have any strixhaven packs 
<laughs> what more do the people want from me? Uh, you, I'm, I'm sorry, Verna. We'll never be able to get Sam to open his bags. Um, yeah, as you can see by his collection, <laughs> it's, it's not <laughs> happening. He's waiting till they go up in value so we can sell them. Isn't that right? Uh, that's called stonks. Yeah. Yeah, which you can definitely sell your packs on, on Arena, right? That You can definitely do that, right? Totally. There's definitely a reason to keep the packs on Arena, right? Want to sell one MTG Arena account? <laughs> we might need to use your account in future videos, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, I sold my 33 AFR packs <laughs> by selling my account. Uh, so once again, thank you, Verna. Um, lastly, we got Vex... Tr sorry. We got Vetroxity. Uh, leave it to the Draft Punks to name their video off a card they couldn't even activate once. That's disgraceful. And pick of the week was Eyes of the Beholder. That card is better than all of the white cards you had at that point. FYI, Paladin only has a 52 game in hand win rate, whereas Veteran Dungeoneer has a 56% win rate. So what do you have to say about that, Sam? Uh, well, as I commented to Vetroxity, actually... <laughs> <laughs> Veteran Dungeoneer has a 0% win rate because I didn't put it in my deck. I mean, hey, you can't... As as Michael said above, stats. That's facts and logic. You can't argue with that. You can't. You can't argue with that. Um, and uh, pick of the week, eyes, which is... It's hard to tell if that was a... Uh, <laughs> we part of the 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 uh the the Statler and Waldorfing that we received from Vitality yeah. <laughs> or an actual uh uh serious pick. But I I'd like to think it was part of the part of the banter. That um, does mean that every single card in that pack got picked by someone for pick of the week. That's true. That's that's rare. Yeah, every that's, that's card not... got mentioned. I mean there were only four cards in the pack, so I mean we kind of make it made it easy for him, but yes, agreed. Um, well, um, yeah. So uh, if you're wondering, like, wow, that Vitroxity guy's like real mean. If you look into the comments below, he um, he he relents, and um, and and says that it it really crushed my soul to write a mean comment to you guys. Sorry about that. So um, couldn't keep up the facade, which is fair. We're a tough crowd. What do we have to do to get an enemy around here? Everyone's yeah. too nice. <laughs> so, so thank you so much, Vitroxity. Um, we like we like the 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 hat you put on for that comment. Uh, don't don't be afraid to bring it on. We can take it. Agreed. And if you would like to be featured in this section of our next episode, all you need to do is drop us a comment down below, uh, or you can uh, give us a share on social media and just tag us to let us know you've done that. You can email us at the address. On screen now, you can find us on Twitter at DraftPunksMTG, everything separated by underscores. You can find me personally, my name is Sam, at calm underscore mirror. And you can find me, Adrian, at WalkerAid. And Adrian, close us out. What do they call a werewolf on YouTube? Uh, I don't know what they call him, but he's, uh, he's pricey. It's a like and subscribe. <laughs>